Yes, you're all sleepy, aren't you? You can see they're all just kind of sprawled out, which is typical lion fashion at this stage. They're all kind of found themselves a shady spot and are having a good nap. And you'll see the heads, even though they're up now, it's just because we've driven in here. Once we settle down, so the eyes start to get heavy and then the heads will flop back down. And I'm pretty sure that it's going to be a very sort of sedate start to the afternoon with the lions. I don't think they're going to be too active just yet. They're going to wait until that sun dips a little bit with these clouds rolling in and this wind blowing. It's going to be a perfect night for the Inkahuma Pride to hunt. So this is very, very cool that we've found them now and we haven't had to search too much. And it means hopefully that this evening when we just sort of sit with them and, and just be a bit patient that they may be going to get up and start hunting. They are looking quite thin, which means that they would in all likelihood probably try and see if they can't go hunting tonight. And you can see there that belly is sucked in a little bit and so there is a bit of me well, nutrients needed on behalf of all of them. So I wouldn't be surprised if we see a very active in Kahuma Pride a little bit later in the day. But for now, you can see it's all s systems go for a good nap. And they've just flopped back down again to have a bit of a rest. And like I said, it's so good to see them. They seem to just grow every time I see them. The last time I saw them was about three weeks ago. And even the little ones are looking as though they've gotten bigger already. Their legs are getting long and they're starting to lose those spots. They're not nearly as spotty as what they were a few months ago. Now, that particular one that's lying out there looks like potentially one of the younger ones. It's difficult now to sort of age them unless they're standing up. Because there are no longer sort of massive size differences between the three different litters. And there is the sort of younger ones that are slightly smaller, but unless they're lying with the others, it's tough to know who is who. And I have to start learning the whisker patterns on all of them so that we can start recognizing which individual is which. There's definitely no sign of the little cub here. So maybe that little cub is hidden somewhere in these areas. And because the pride came into this area, Amber Eyes joined up with them during the night. And maybe she's left them during the day today. Because at the moment, I can only see three adult females. I don't see any more than that. But there are a lot that are lying on the other side of that tall grass. You can see in the middle there is a big pile of lions. And they're all kind of resting on top of one, of each, one another. So inside there, even though you don't see them, there's a whole bunch, and it just shows you how well camouflaged they are. So Francis, you're wondering how old they are. Well, there's three different litters of cubs here. So there was two litters that were born in May last year, and one litter born in June. So the one set, the one set well, is 13 months, and the others are about a year old. So they've just kind of had their one year birthday. In fact, it'd be interesting to know when was the first time they were seen in June, as we can maybe celebrate their birthday if it was a day or two ago, and we can wish the Inkahumas a happy birthday and maybe sing them a little song. Although, Craig, you're not a singer, are you? No, no we need Ferg. Ferg is a singer, yes. All right, well, we're going to spend probably the vast majority of our afternoon with these lions. I know they're quite sleepy now, but definitely the right conditions, and they're in the sort of the right space to be following them around and to spend time and be patient with them. And while we do that, let's go down to Byron, who I believe is off his vehicle and looking for tracks. <laughs> 